In this lecture, we are going to try to see how we can create a form in LibreOffice Base. So let's open up our LibreOffice Base and let's open the database that we have created in the previous video. So the sample database is already here. So let's click Finish. Okay, so basically we have already created the three tables, the customer, order, and product. We have also written a query, customer, or the query customer. And then this time we will be designing a form. So let's choose create form in design view. So what we will do here is to add the customer table. But before we can do that, we have to open up the form navigator. If you cannot see the form navigator, then you have to go to the view menu, select toolbars, and then make sure to check the form design. Once you have that, you can now see your form navigator. Open your form navigator, create a new form by right clicking on the forms, select new, and then form. And then we will change this name to main form. And then we have to go to the properties of this form, right click, and then properties. And then we will change the content type under the data tab. So go to the data tab, select content type table, and then choose the content customer. So we are specifying that for this form, we want to get the records or rows from the customer table. Okay, so let's close this. Once we have set the main form, we have to open now the add field. So click the add field, then choose the necessary fields that you want to display. In our case, we will choose the last name, first name, middle name, and address. And then let's close the field window, as well as the form navigator. OK. Next is we have to change the text of this label. So the label last name or L name, we have to change it to last name. For the F name, it will be the first name. So we have to go back to the form navigator. And then we choose the L name label and then resize it. And then right click on it, properties, and then you change the label to last name. Close this one. Same goes with the first name. Reduce the size. Right click and then properties. And then first name. So I will fast forward this uh, video for us to reduce the time. Next is we will align the text boxes closer to the labels. So we will select each of these text boxes by holding the control key on your keyboard and then clicking each text box. And then we move this to the left side until it becomes closer to the label. OK. So then we select all of this and then put this somewhere here. Okay, so we can now see that we have this uh, form when we preview this using the design mode. So as of now, we are in the design mode. So let's click this one. So we can now see the records from our customer table. Okay, so next is we will add the orders of this customer. So let's go back to the design view and then add a new form. So select the main form, right click, then new, then select form. So it will become a sub form. So we will name this sub form one. And then we right click on this, select properties. And then let's choose here again from the data tab. Under content type, make sure that you have chosen the table. And then from the content, we will choose the order. And then from the link master, we have to define the relationship of this table, the customer and the order. 
click on the ellipse button. So we have to click on the ellipse button. So click this one and for the order, we have to choose ID customer and for the customer is ID customers as well. Okay, then we're done with this, then click OK. And then let's close this one. All right, so next is we have to add field names as well. So let's go to the add field. And then we can already see the field names under order. So we have to display the product. Uh, or maybe we'll start at date ordered, quantity, and price. Okay, so let's close this one. And then let's choose each label and then modify the properties of this. Again, I have to fast forward this part. Okay, so we're through in placing the text box as well as the, as well as the label at the right position. Okay, so we can now preview this. Okay, one last thing. Under sub form one, we are going to add a grid. So choose the subform one, and then at this uh, double-headed arrow, we are going to choose table control. So click and then draw it somewhere on your form. So in my case, I'm going to draw it just next to the date, quantity, and price. And then I will choose the field name that I want to display in my table. So I'm going to choose product except for the ID order and ID customer. Okay, so click finish. And then let's try this out. We can see that Jane Doe has two bath towels. Stephen Strange has a shovel. And Steve Roger has no order. So we can add an order for Steve Roger. So what we'll do next is to add a combo box to allow our user to add an item from the order. So we have to go to the navigation form. Make sure that we have chosen the subform one before we add the combo box. So let's choose the product here. We are going to display the product. And then we'll save we will save this under product of customer. So this is it. And then click finish. There you go. And then let's add a label for this. Label. And then Write the label here just next to the combo box. Let's name the label product. Okay, so we can try this out. So let's preview this. So there you go. And then let's go to Steve Rogers and then select a product. Let's say Johnson's baby powder, date ordered. 11, 12, 20, 20. Then for quantity, let's say we have four. And then price is 70. And then save. So there you go. We have now one record for Steve Rogers. We can add more. So make sure that your insertion point is just within the group of the product. So click add again. Then let's add Nivea. Date ordered, let's say 11, 22, 20, 20, quantity, 
four and then price is 50. So there you go. And we have now a working form. So if you're going to navigate this from left to right, you'll be able to see those product that was ordered by a customer. For Jane Doe, she has this bath towel and bath soap. For Stephen Strange, he has this shovel. And for Steve Rogers, he has this baby powder and Divya. All right, so that's all for this video and see you in the next lectures.